Welcome to the Scrapbooking Inspiration Podcast. I'm your host, Melissa Shannon, founder of DigitalScrapbookingHQ.com, and today I'm here with Gina Z from GinaZ.com to chat a little bit about her inspiration for Christmas creativity. Hi, Gina. Hi, Melissa. I'm so glad to be here. Thank you for inviting me. Oh, it's great to be chatting to you. And once again, we're circumnavigating the globe, as is our want. And (laughs) Gina's in a lovely sunny island town, I would suspect, (laughs) right now. Yes, it's a little warm for me here in Hawaii. Yeah. Well, it's a very pleasant spring afternoon here in Perth. So I think, yeah, you might be even a little warmer than we are right now. (laughs) Uh, so, warm and mag. Tropical. <laughs> Gotta love that. Mm-hmm. Well, for our listeners who haven't met you yet, why don't you introduce yourself and tell us a little bit about Gina Z? Okay, um, I'm Gina. I go by Gina Z at my website on uh, Facebook. Um, the website is called GinaZ.com and I use that as a way to share the many little projects that I try around the house and the different things I get to play with with my friends online. Mm. So, um, as we all know, we're bearing down on Christmas and December very shortly and I'd like to know what do you love about December? I love that December is a time when everybody is thinking about other people. We uh, have that extra little nudge to bring to mind people that we uh, we miss or that we like to spend time with. You're thinking about gifts and you're thinking about each person's personality. And uh, I've traveled a lot over the years and moved from place to place and. I those extra little bits of connection with people, phone calls to talk to others, and uh, all those things are a special time for me. Mm. Yeah, that's wonderful. So, do you get to do a lot of creating in December or leading up to Christmas? I do. I've finally got my own special space in a in a room, and I've got it set up the way that I. I plan to make Christmas cards for people. And a lot of our gifts are homemade because we don't spend a whole lot of money on purchasing. We've uh, got uh, more of a service-based uh, plan for our family during mm-hmm. Christmas time. We're so spread out that it's very expensive to purchase for people. So mm. a lot of handmade and homemade gifts. Ah, that's lovely. (laughs) Okay, I will have to pause there. I'll I'll fix that in post-production. I had a little person coming in there then. Okay. So, Gina, I know you're a very creative person and if anyone's been, has checked out, well, if they haven't checked out GinaZ.com, they should definitely head over there and see what kind of creativity you're doing and um, just wondering what inspires you to be creative in general what what got you on the the road to creativity well if I'm being truly honest I'm a cheapskate I don't like spending money I don't have to <laughs> <laughs> I, I feel like I'm a little bit of a throwback to a generation where things weren't thrown away and and replaced and I don't um, purchase a whole lot of new um, decorations in my home. So I am always looking at the way things are made. I love to see store windows with um, elaborate uh, setups, and I've worked behind the scenes in theater. Mm-hmm. And a lot, of, a lot of what you see on stage is things that have been handmade to look like something. Mm-hmm. And so a lot of that to me is is kind of a behind the scenes, how does it work? Um, And I'll see uh, 
Christmas cards that people will send to me or packages that are gift wrapped and I will be thinking about what do I have at home that I can use to create similar. Like in scrapbooking when you find a layout that you want to make but you want to make it your own so you scrap list. Mm -hmm. Mm. Well that's certainly a very interesting aspect. I love the idea of like when you were just saying like stage um, productions I was just thinking that is so true because you go well the most recent thing I went to see was um, Mary Poppins musical and of course they've got a house which isn't really a house and you know they're folding out bits to turn it into something that looks like a home and you know the different rooms and that sort of thing it's like kind of a combination of creativity and optical illusions and <laughs> so I can really see that influence in your work really. Well, thank you. I used to do props uh, in the local theater uh, troupe when I lived in a small town so mm -hmm. we had to be very creative in making something look elaborate. Mm. Mm. So, what will we find over at GinaZ.com if people are interested in checking out? Why don't you share a little bit a bit more about your site? Um, recently, I've been working with a group of ladies, including yourself, on a Monday post of things that we've made with the uh, Christmas seasons and the uh, Thanksgiving seasons coming up. A lot of the things that I've made have been tagged mm -hmm. that have been sending out and sharing with other people. Um, I do think I have a couple of other projects coming up that may be a little more um, in the direction of artistic coming up. So there will be projects like that. Another thing that you find is occasionally I'll do a Gina's favorite thing this week, and it's not always a thing. Mm -hmm. Sometimes it's a te technique. Sometimes it's a craft. Sometimes it's just something that caught my eye. Coming up, there will be a necklace that mm -hmm. I was was given that I've worn several times this week, and it it just would be something like um, uh, an an experience that will make me think, oh, I want to share that. So my favorite thing can be um, a supply, a tool, a technique, a um, or a piece of jewelry. So sometimes it's just a, a platform for me to get my thoughts out there and share with others along with the different projects that I'll take and refashion something in an upcycle. Mm. Yes, so I, I've been very intrigued by a few of your creative solutions. I especially like the, the kind of fix-it things that you've done like um, the I'm thinking of the the t-shirt that you rescued and that looks totally amazing now. <laughs> I, I actually enjoy wearing that shirt now. At a point, there was a point when I thought, oh, that's going to have to go into the paint bag where I have a couple of things that you just, whenever you're going to go paint a bedroom or something, you pull out these clothes because you know they're going to get messy, so you keep them aside. Mm. <laughs> but Yeah, I have it, some painting clothes too. <laughs> Yeah, but that shirt was so much fun that I, uh, it had a bleach. It was just, just, you know, got touched by something else that had bleach on it. And, um, and I thought, well, what can I do with that? And occasionally I get inspired because somebody's got, uh, it, it, somebody will ask me, well, what are you doing creative recently? Well, I'm really not doing anything, so let me go figure something out real quick. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, so they should all, I'll link over to that particular example so you can go and see the beautiful creation <laughs> that Gina made out of something that, you know, could have been heading towards the uh, the rag bag. So, um, as you mentioned, we've been working together as some of us creative types and we've been doing our Make It Monday um, blog hop but we've also got something coming up for Christmas we're putting together a bundle of 15 different products done by 15 different creative women and they're going to be on sale from November 24th to the 1st of December for a very very low price so I've invited Gina here just to 
have a little chat but also to share for her to share a little bit about what her product is for the creative Christmas bundle so Gina what have you been working away to include for all our creative people this Christmas well, I'm very excited because uh, occasionally it takes a deadline to actually get me um, moving and, and, and growing. And um, I'm putting together a ebook. Uh, is almost not really what it is, but it's a project that includes several sections. Uh, one of them is going to be, um, well, I guess I should say overall, I'm calling it an upcycled Christmas. Mm -hmm. I'm aiming it, aiming it not necessarily toward people who don't have the money to spend, but who people want to try something different uh, all the way around. So it's going to be a semi-complete package for uh, different parts of your Christmas. Uh, mm -hmm. One of them is going to be like an advent calendar. And since I haven't ever made it before, we will see how that portion of this turns out. Mm -hmm. But... Um, just as a little bit of a teaser, I will be using toilet paper rolls. Mm -hmm. Which is something we all have plenty of. <laughs> yeah, so if you want to do it, you hang on to your toilet paper rolls for a few days so that you can make your own advent calendar. Mm. Or even ask your neighbors. <laughs> Everybody <laughs> else knows. Oh, that's cool. So... Upcycle Christmas. I'll certainly be looking forward to seeing what's inside. I know I'm always amazed at the creativity and how you can come up with these, these you know, really amazing end results from you know household items. I mean, I know I've seen you make all sorts of things out of cereal boxes and um, those you know tags from leftover material and all that sort of thing. So. Um, yeah, I didn't know if you wanted me to give away any more that's in it, but I have actually got four sections planned, mm -hmm. and the Advent calendar is just one of them. Awesome. Well, I think that we'll tease the, the listeners, and they can go and check it out. There'll be more information in the post for this um, podcast, and you can – I'll link up to all Gina's um, – to her website and the t-shirt that I, we were talking about earlier and we and we'll have some more information about her product for the creative Christmas bundle now before I let you go Gina I just wanted to have a, ask you for a little word of wisdom or advice or a practical tip for our listeners who are thinking that maybe you know Trying something new or getting creative in December is um, not something they've ever managed to do. Like they might have grand plans, but how do you make it happen? How do you fit it in? Um, a tip that I might have is uh, just changing the way you think about things. If you have something in your hand, you've opened a package or someone shipped you something from a uh, Amazon and you've gotten it in the mail and you, you've got that box in front of you and you can think, we all do it. We all say, I'm going to keep this for something someday. Well, when you have something in your hand, try and think of two or three different ways that you could use that. And if you've looked at Pinterest or you've looked at my website, um, cardboard box and cereal boxes feature prominently in upcycled crafts. So just when you have something in your hand and you're going to the garbage, look at it and see if you can imagine it in two or three different ways. You don't have to keep it. I am I am a person who throws things away. I really do. You might not believe that with the <laughs> business that I'm in, but I have to keep things at a into a manageable size. But mm. just exercising that creative muscle and, and using a different eye is my tip. Mm. Well, I'm sure that you, your um, Upcycle Christmas will certainly have plenty of inspiration for us who maybe, you know, need a bit of help getting that creative eye um, working. And I'm sure that everyone's going to really enjoy looking through your product in our Creative Christmas Bundle. Well, thank you so much for spending the time to chat, Gina. It's been a delight and I'll, I'll look forward to talking to you again soon. Well, thank you, Melissa. It has been a lot of fun talking with you. 
Thanks for taking the time to listen to the Scrapbooking Inspiration Podcast today. If you'd like to learn more, head to scrapbookingpodcast.com where you can find the show notes for this episode and the links to everything we've talked about. 